A two-year-old boy found dead in an Oregon Creek back in 1963 has finally been identified. It turns out the little boy was from New Mexico. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here with the story. Jamie. Jess, the cold case of Baby Doe went unsolved for decades until his body was exhumed in 2008 for DNA. More than a decade later, a sibling match was finally found, and with that, a birth certificate and a name, Stevie Crawford. The 1963 death of a two-year-old boy found in the mountains near Ashland, Oregon, left investigators stunned for decades. The boy, wrapped in blankets, bound with wire, and weighed down, had no identity. But the cold case got new light in 2008 when Jackson County Sheriff's Office detectives found the old file. The case kind of just fell through the cracks. Well, when I brought this file back to the detective sergeant, and uh, he said, this is not good, we got to get into this. At the time, Jim Tattersall was a special investigator for the office. He worked with now-retired Detective Sergeant Colin Fagan to exhume the body and found the young boy likely had Down syndrome. They took DNA and had a reconstruction done. The day that we opened that file and saw this three-dimensional image of this child was pretty emotional for us as the investigators. We had adopted him as our child and called him the Keen Creek Boy. But still, no leads. Many of the detectives on the case have since retired. We all thought that was it. We'll never hear any more about it. We thought we'd probably die before anything came up about this little boy. But late last year, Baby Doe's DNA got a sibling match through a genealogy site, and with that, a birth certificate. Stevie Crawford, born October 2nd, 1960, in Doña Ana County, New Mexico. Oddly enough, when Tattersall retired, he moved to the Rio Rancho area and says it was astonishing to note this case has New Mexico roots. 58 years later, Fagan says while there's relief to know his name, so many questions remain. There will always be questions that remain in my mind. How did he get to this small reservoir in the Cascade Mountains of Southern Oregon in 1963? Um, under what circumstances did, did he die? Fagan and Tattersall say none of this would have been possible without the help of so many. And now they look forward to the day when little Stevie, once baby Doe, will be buried with his name. Detectives say one missing piece of the puzzle is how Stevie died. The state of Oregon has a law where medical records, like autopsy reports, can be destroyed after 25 years. When Jackson County detectives picked the cold case up, the autopsy was already destroyed. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jamie. Officials say Stevie's mother has since died, and the name of his father is unknown. According to Fagan, Stevie's remaining family members have been notified and plan to relocate him to a family plot here in New Mexico.